Ron Rayfield, I'm Justine Dorn on Frontier Patriot. We just made a really good looking meal on our other channel, Early American, and I am completely ready to dig into this. Ron knows I love beans. It's one of my favorite foods. So I have what was called Windsor beans, and it was recommended to be cooked with bacon and parsley and butter, and I'll get more into that later. Then we have some penny loaves because every meal needs bread. And then we have some cheese. Yes. What kind of cheese we got? We got Gouda. Gouda cheese, which is, I found out today, one of the oldest cheeses in the world. It goes back to the 12th century. And it's one of my favorite cheeses. So I would have done just fine 200 years ago then if, if we had Gouda cheese around. And also we have oranges shipped up the Mississippi River from Florida. Don't ask us how we got these. The I, guy was kind of shady. <laughs> I saved some money on rent, so we're doing better now. We can afford more meat, we can afford more fruits. It's not often that I get this. And we have mushroom catsup, just in case we need it. <laughs> Which is a yes, we do need it. Ron, could you pour me some yes. water before we get into this? Thank you. Being in front of a hearth all day kind of dries you out. I feel like a shriveled up anchovy. I needed that. Well, let me nice. serve you. I'll serve you first. <clears throat> Thank you. And the other beans that we made, uh, the brown beans, we already ate those. So we can't show that. <laughs> yeah, if you guys would like to see this meal being prepared or other meals, uh, Justine's channel, Early American, you guys definitely need to check that out. There's. You want more? Uh, maybe one more scoop. Over there, we cook it. Over here, we eat it. We eat it. That's and funny. we cure ourselves from, we need remedies for eating said foods. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this will be very good. I love I so. beans. It smells good. It does. I've already tried it. It's good. <laughs> Would you like a roll? Yes. And before you ask me if I want cheese, you already know the answer to that. I would love some cheese. In fact, you see this bite mark here? That's my work. Oh, I'll take this. I'll piece. wait for you. <laughs> I was waiting. Well, this is the best cheese. It is good. Well, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Thank you, God, and thank you to you for your friendship yep. to us and being here with us as we eat. I yep. really, really appreciate it. Yeah, you guys have changed my life. Thank you. Literally. We, we couldn't do it without you guys. Your yes. reviews mean everything. So they thank do. you. Thank you for your company. And thank you for you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Life is so much better with you. You're welcome anytime. <laughs> All right, let's, let's dig in. Okay. I have salt too, if you feel like it needs some salt. That's good. Mm-hmm. I love beans. <laughs> I'm, go ahead. These are lima beans, which would have been very common in the United States at this time. Hmm. So I thought, well, common sense says that someone 200 years ago was probably reading this receipt and they thought, Oh, that sounds great, but I don't have that kind of bean, but I have lima beans, which is the next most common bean in the United States at that time. So I'll just use lima beans. So I yeah. made it with both. They're very good. Right. And uh, lima beans are more common to find than what we now call fava beans. Fava? Fava with a V. How do you spell that? F-A-V-A. F-A-V-A. -A. I've never heard of them. Mm -hmm. In the receipt, the beans come under a different name, but fava beans is the more commonly modern name for it. If you go to an international food store, look in the Middle Eastern section and you will find fava beans. And that's the reason why I had these. Shout out to my mom, because my mom, we have, uh, my mom's from Syria. So that's the reason why I had fava beans in, in my mom's house in the first place. Huh. This butter sauce that these are in is good. I'm normally not a bean, a ham and bean guy, but these are good. Really? 
Mm-hmm. I am a big bean person. My nickname is just Steamy Beanie, by the way, since I was a kid. It just rhymes, but coincidentally, I also really like beans. I cook them in tomato sauce, though. Tomato sauce wasn't really a thing by 1820. <clears throat> Tomatoes were treated with a little bit of suspect. They thought they were poisonous, didn't they? At one point, they did. It's a New World crop, so it's an American hmm. vegetable? <laughs> Are is they it, fruit? Is it a fruit or a vegetable? You decide. You decide. Interrogate your nearest tomato and find out the answer. <laughs> and if you know, let me know. Envelope, envelope, washer, mm-hmm. washer. <laughs> some people think it's fruit, some people think it's a vegetable. But I'm sure there really is an answer to that question. I think it's a fruit. I think scientifically hmm. it's a fruit. Tomatoes have seeds in them. Mm-hmm. That makes it a fruit, right? Technically. It's a fruit. It's a savory fruit. Right. So uh, next time you make a fruit salad, why aren't you adding tomatoes to it? <laughs> <laughs> it's fruit. Yeah. Already ate all my cheese. No, there's still half a block there. Sorry, wheel. It was round. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> These little loaves are good. Mm-hmm. Penny loaves. They call them that because they would have cost a penny. Mm-hmm. So they were good for a snack. Or on the side of your meal. I want to make a bean sandwich. A bean sandwich? Right. I want to cut this loaf in half and put beans in it and see what that's like. Tear it open. Um, this bread roll is a little... I guess I can do it. <laughs> Just because it didn't tear cleanly. Thank you to everybody that's been watching our latest videos. Thank you. I'm about to go in, Ron. Alright, she's going in. Mm-hmm. Is it worth it? Do it. <laughs> How about mm-hmm. some mushroom ketchup? Um, okay. Just a dab? Just a dab right here. It's coming. Wait for it. There it there is. There it is. I swear I swear that this is mushroom ketchup and not moonshine. I do because it looks like a <laughs> typical moonshine bottle. I do not put moonshine on my beans yet. <laughs> so these kind of stoneware crots or juds, whatever you want to call them, they would keep things cold. So you could keep water inside a big crock. Um, we have one here. There's not water in it, but <clears throat> there's larger ones in these. You could fill them up with water and on a hot day, you just keep a, a rag over it or a towel, and they'll stay ice cold all day long. Right, it does hold on to temperature very well. Yeah. And you preserve things in those too. At uh, some events I've seen big crots full of water and it stays cold all day long, as long as it's in the shade. So that bean sandwich is good, but you know it would make it better, right? More cheese. More cheese. You want some? Yes, please. Wait, you still have more on your plate, but here you go. I'm getting to it. (laughs) So how about that macaroni last week, huh? That was good. It was very good. Yeah, Ron finished it all. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Let me put, this needs a little bit more bean action. That's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna patent this idea. A bean sandwich. A bean sandwich. Have you not never heard of beans on toast? Nope. He's terribly American. Beans on toast is very common in the UK. Hmm. Hmm. I do love this cheese. Right. 
That is really good. Sometimes I get a little out of control with food. Uh, if you had given me the whole wheel, which was about the size of this plate originally, mm -hmm. I think I could have eaten it by myself. Mm. <laughs> wow. I could have done it. If something tastes good, I just keep going. You might regret that in the days to come if you eat that whole thing. I know what you mean. No, this will help. I didn't get that much greens in it. The beans are on the beans. Oh, the beans. <laughs> the greens clean you out. The beans will help. <laughs> Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna Are you gonna make a I, bean sandwich? I don't know if I can see it. Can you see this? I think you can. Yep. I'm gonna do this. Maybe put the cheese in there. Cut I'll, it thinly. I will. I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> Oh, I don't know about that. I do. Mushroom, ketchup, soaked bread? Yeah, just chop it up. You got a piece of cheese? Thank you. All right, here we go. What's this? I thought you were gonna eat like a sandwich. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay. This is a brand new creation here. Mm -hmm. Really? My stuff is good on anything. It is good on everything. And these, these pan loaves like a sponge, just soaks it up. By the way, for those of you who don't know, these are not plastic spoons, these are horn spoons. Mm -hmm. We got these from our friend, our dearest friend Candy's mm -hmm. store, Sassafras Creek in St. Genevieve. Mm -hmm. I think they're like $8 a piece. Right, they're made Pretty from cheap. animal horn. Yep. Mm. Cow, maybe? Yep. That was the plastic of the day. The day back then. <laughs> you can make it really thin and get it where it's like translucent. Right. So some some lanterns would actually have pieces of horn. Instead uh, of glass. Mm -hmm. Which might actually be better because if it's translucent, it spreads the light out more. It distributes it differently. Right. And it wasn't expensive too, which is part of why it was the plastic mm -hmm. of the day. If you broke it, you probably wouldn't cry. No. Today you would. Today it's expensive to have things mm -hmm. made out of horn. Mm -hmm. Custom. Like I said, these spoons are probably 10 bucks or so, but like for a nice powder horn or something, mm -hmm. you're going to pay 100 bucks or right, so. Right, for a powder horn. Mm -hmm. But back then it was so common, it wasn't, wasn't worth that much. Mm -hmm. People ate so much meat back then, that, and they would use every part of the animal. Mm -hmm. That's smart. It is smart. This is good, but I have one complaint. There's not enough bacon. <laughs> yep. I was thinking it. We just didn't have more meat. It is what it is, though. Meat is expensive right now. It is expensive. How about cheese? Has cheese gone up in price? I don't know. I haven't really... I haven't checked on cheese. Well, I mean, we buy it, but... I just don't remember what cheese cost a year ago versus what it costs now. I can't think of it right now. Hmm. I wasn't eating cheese a year ago. I didn't have the money to afford it. Well, I was huh. eating it at the Stevenson house. But since we've been here, Mr. Jeffries has uh, charged me the same amount each time. Hmm. It's because he likes you. Yeah, he's nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Ron beat me. Is anyone surprised? <laughs> nope. <laughs> he eats so fast. <clears throat> After we're done eating, we're going to open up a little box that Samson Historical sent us. We got a package? Mm-hmm. I think that they took pity on us. Either they took pity on us 
or they really just don't like seeing your legs. So they sent us a box. A mystery box. <laughs> hmm. That should be interesting. Right. If I had a guess, I think it has uh, a much longer shirt in it. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you go to Early American, we have a 1780s getting dressed video, which caused a tiny little bit of hype. Because, Two weeks ago. because Ron was showing as much skin, actually less skin than you would see if you just went to the beach any day. Mm -hmm. But no one's ever seen your legs before, I guess. Except for that one video that we did before that where your legs were completely shown too. Oh yeah. <laughs> when I was sick. Yeah, when he was sick. But uh, S Samson saw that video and they wanted to send us something after that. So I'm assuming it's a longer shirt. Because Ron's a bit on the tall side mm -hmm. and uh, his shirt just mm -hmm. wasn't long enough. Yeah. Well, it was long enough because it didn't actually show anything. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't long enough for people who are very sensitive to the sight of skin. <laughs> Yeah. So maybe they sent us a much longer shirt. It was period correct to not have on pants right. in the morning, so. Right. Men would usually sleep in their night shirts. Um, I mean, let's be frank, even nowadays, a lot of guys sleep in just a shirt. Or pajama pants. Or right? nothing, honestly. I mean, sometimes people do that. So that's just the nature of a getting dressed morning routine video. You know, sometimes people don't sleep in 10 layers of clothes. Right. If you want realism, that's realism for you. And that's how people really would have done it. And that was just our best interpretation of that too. We right. we didn't want to put on pants because it wouldn't be period correct. So we did the best we could. And mm -hmm. uh, right, especially if you were working class, you couldn't have afforded special sleeping pants. You would have just slept in a night shirt, a really long night shirt, and stockings. Just be thankful I had a shirt on. Yeah, guys, be thankful for yeah. that. It could have been much worse. Yeah. Or the fact that I didn't drop anything and we had to <laughs> pick <worse>. it up. <laughs> much worse. <laughs> much worse. So if you like a, a pale, hairy chested, big, relaxed, muscled. American, <laughs> red blooded man. Red muscle one here. Yeah, it's somewhere there. <laughs> you feel it? Yeah, I feel it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, you are really strong. I mean,. He, Ron will just lift 200 pound logs like it's nothing. We don't, yeah. we don't work out. We don't go to the gym or anything mm -hmm. like that, but just our everyday lives works us out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Before anyone asks, I cannot lift 200 pound logs. Nope. Same. No. Can't do it. <laughs> right. I can't. Yeah, I can't do it. What I do is instead I use my brain and I troubleshoot. Okay, how can I get this log over here without lifting it? I'm going to make a pulley system. Or I'll dig a trench and roll it down there. So I just use my brain. <clears throat> Very smart. I try. You have to adapt and overcome. Did I see your new washer in the last video? Uh... Well, maybe they caught a glimpse of it when I was outside. I thought so. We got that last week. Right. Yep. I'm so glad that we have that now. I've been telling Ron, we need to find a big pot that I can do my laundry in. But they're so shockingly expensive. Mm -hmm. The ones that are made out of iron. It's basically a huge cauldron. Now, not everyone would have had a metal one back then. Some people had just wooden ones, but the metal ones are convenient because you can put fire under it because you have to mm -hmm. heat up the water that you do the laundry in to get your stains out properly. But then Ron just randomly surprised me with this wooden washer. I'm looking at it right now from yeah. the window and I've given up on the idea of having an iron one because I am perfectly happy with that. In fact, I think I like it more now than the thought of having an iron one because I can easily tip it over. Yep. It's definitely more lightweight. Well, I drilled a hole in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mr. Daniels is very nice to sell us a barrel that he cut in half. Yes. Yep, he cut it in half and Ron got it and he sealed up some cracks so it's mostly watertight. It drips one or two drips, but honestly, who cares about Just that? Put some beeswax <laughs> in there. Mm -hmm. Seals it right up. Yeah, you can't put a fire under it, but that's okay. I'll just put hot water in it from the hearth or cold 
it's well, not, yeah, not it's hard to get the stains out. I don't think it's that dirty. Do I? Everyone gets stains on their clothes sometimes. Mm. I don't notice. <laughs> Need more water? Uh, no, I'm good. But that reminds me to drink more water. Hit that like button. Do it. <laughs> Call them off guard. Yeah. I'm going for this last piece of cheese. You got a big hunk of it there. Hey! <laughs> I was about to say not for long. <laughs> and now all the cheese is gone. Mm. Wow, we get a lot of food. We do. We work hard though. We ate an entire wheel of cheese in the span of... Mm. I don't have my sundial phone. Right? <laughs> it was in the span of probably an hour because we started it before we came here for with you guys. So we were sampling. We were sampling everything because I just I couldn't mm. resist. I had to try this cheese. And then each of us have had two penny loaves. Did you have three? I think so. Yeah, I had three. Oh, I got just <laughs> enough room left for dessert. Do you know what kind of flowers those are? You want to tell them where those came from? I actually don't know. They're really pretty flowers. They came from my uh, parents' yard. They look like a mm -hmm. some kind of a honeysuckle almost, the, the shape of them. They're not the color of a honeysuckle, I don't think, but... I'm pretty sure these grow from a bulb. Mm, nice. I'm full. Right. <laughs> Why aren't I finishing my beans? Well, because You're full. the short answer is I ate so much <laughs> bread and so much cheese. Ron and I, we peel oranges completely different. <laughs> I don't have time to peel the peel off. It's quicker just to do this. And then do this. Okay. Run your thumb down there. Then you got a whole piece. Mmm. 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 He's efficient with his time. That's very good. I'm trying to chew quickly so I can get to the orange already. Good luck. <laughs> Why is my mouth so small? Why is all of me so small? I didn't eat well as a child. I didn't grow right. Didn't you say oranges were from like the 15th century in America? Oh well, they're... The Spaniards brought them over? Christopher Columbus brought over the first citrus trees. I don't know if that, that included oranges, but the first Spanish explorers in the United States brought over orange trees to be planted in Florida in the 1500s, so that would be the 16th century, but in the 1500s. So oranges have been in the United States for a very long time, and oranges originated in Asia, hmm, in what is modern day China. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. Yep, they've been in China for a very long time. They were also grown in India for a very long time before coming to the United States. I'm talking thousands of years. BC times, actually. <clears throat> what happened to your orange? Where'd it go? Did you eat it already? Yeah, it was delicious. What are you? <laughs> you should know by now. Are okay, I want an orange. You want another want one? Want me to cut it for you? Or do you want to do it your fancy, peel the whole thing and get your fingers all sticky? It's actually not fancy. I, 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 eat, I eat it like a brute because I use my fingernails. Oh, you do that. First I... And yes, I'll eat another one. First I just make like a circular cut in there with my nails. Mm -hmm. And then I take that top off there and then you're in. You now have access. <laughs> And you just keep putting your fingers under there and sell the rinds off. And it perfumes your fingers. Mm -hmm. You rub it all over you, get that perfume on you. <laughs> I don't know why you do that. I'm gonna eat an orange. 
<laughs> I'm getting the most for my money right now. <laughs> Using it as perfume too. Wow, that is pretty clean. These are really good. I'll have to find that <clears throat> guy again next time he's in town. Came up the Mississippi River. He was a little shady looking, but <laughs> his boat was nice. I don't know where he got it from. Did he have a parrot on his shoulder? No. He had an eye patch on though. That's awfully suspicious. <laughs> Isn't it? I hope you're joking. I'm not. What? But then again, everyone around here has at least one eye patch and one arm and leg <laughs> missing. It's hard to get medical care out here. <laughs> See, that didn't take long. <clears throat> These are good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> Fruit makes me happy. Mm -hmm. That's my version of comfort food is a bowl of mixed fruit. Is it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I love grapes. Grapes. I don't sit there and eat a whole thing of grapes. Well, grapes are very good. I like red, purple grapes, whatever you call them. Those are red my grapes. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. See, we are meant for each other. Mm hmm. I should have just asked you the first time I met you what kind of grapes you like. And red. you would have said red, and I would have been like, okay. I don't like grapes. So, when are we getting married? <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody else wants to know. Mm. Whenever. I don't even know the answer to that. <laughs> we'll get back to you on that. Right. We will. It's a matter of when? our finances. Yep. We have to be able to afford to build a proper house. Mm -hmm. Big mansion. No. <laughs> Stone house. You want a stone house? I don't know. I'm looking at the ones I see in town. Really? You want a stone house? I, I like know. Wood's easier. Right. You I'm, are a woodworker. I'm not a mason. It would be... I love houses that have multiple elements to it. So a house that's mm -hmm. half brick and then it has a wood extension off the side. A stone house that has one side of it that's like a wood mm -hmm. extension in the back where the summer kitchen is, that would be lovely. I said we just use whatever we have at our disposal. That's right. Yeah, if we have a property that has a lot of rocks, mm -hmm. or one that has a lot of mature trees. Yeah. Depends. Gotta have good trees, mm -hmm. good soil for planting. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, so we're just waiting to get land and all that. Mm -hmm. Soon. Mm -hmm. You want another orange? <clears throat> no, I better stop for a second. Two and five minutes is my limit. Has it finally caught up with you? <laughs> Almost. The reality of how fast you eat. Oh, I have to go up to the well. Hmm. You got water left? I do. You want? No, I was going to give you mine if you didn't. Oh, thank you. But no, I have water. Which reminds me to drink more water. I'll walk Sometimes down. Sometimes you have to be reminded to drink. Or else you get dehydrated. Mm -hmm. I'll walk down and get some later before dark. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a lovely day today. It is very lovely. I'm so happy it's spring. You don't even know. I get cold very easy. So. It, it was chilly this morning, but... Now it's not bad. I feel like we're heading in the right direction, season-wise. Mm -hmm. We're going slowly into warm weather, as opposed to going into cold weather, so it just perks up my mood a lot. Also, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been sending us letters. Yes, thank you. Yep. Um, so, some of the letters come from Canada or mm -hmm. Europe, which is Yeah, just... England. I can't believe that people on the other side of the world watch this. It is awesome. <laughs> that it's is really, really, awesome. really cool. Or how about people, there's a few from Germany that watch us. Yeah. 
So they're the, mm. the European letters. They're on a ship for three months to get over here. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. So. Uh, well, it's not well, like they you. can not like they can put it on a bird and it fly all Don't the way over Thank you. <laughs> Maybe one day they can get a bird mm -hmm. that flies all the way from Europe to here, but. Uh, yeah, um, I think they're working on it called an airplane. An airplane? What is that? It's a really heavy bird. Ben Franklin event? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I just read about it in a book. <laughs> I read about it in a book, but I, what I, book? I don't know. When um, was this book from? The Future? It was, it was a book about Leonardo da Vinci's inventions. That was a helicopter. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> my mistake. But anyway, there's he theorized about making some sort of a flying apparatus. Yeah. You could say it's like a bird. I, I think it was it was it was very similar to a helicopter. The ergonomics right. right. of the, I'm picturing the draft. it. Yes, I'm picturing it in my head because he did a sketch of it. Mm -hmm. There was multiple layers of the propellers, you could call them propellers. Prop. Props? Or propeller. Propeller, prop, huh. whatever. Wings. Right. Flappers. Right. One was on the bottom and the other one was stacked on top of it. So hmm. it was built kind of vertically as opposed to a long bird. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, what did you call that? Air travel? Travel. At, in our time, uh, hot air balloons were a thing. Oh, hot air balloons are a big thing. Even from uh, mid 18th century, maybe they started yes. hot air balloons in right in Europe. I'm sure. I would say midish on the late side. I could be wrong. I know they definitely had it by 1770. Mm -hmm. um, Mary Antoinette hmm. even personally saw one. They were but... tethered on a cord back then, right? They weren't flying from here to point B, were they? They were flying were from okay. a from point A to point B, but some of them were tethered just to make it easier because it was sort of an attraction to go up in them and then come down. Hmm. Like a like you would today at a fair, I guess. Right. You pay pay for a ticket to right. get a, Well that would have been amazing back then. Oh, oh my Not goodness. Not ever seeing today we have photos from the sky or we've been on mm -hmm. the airplane. Uh, back then, you'd have to find a huge hill to get a bird's eye view. Right. So to see that was probably a marvel. Right. It was probably incredibly <clears throat> scary. Yeah. <laughs> In incredibly scary. But they had, I wouldn't dare to call them roller coaster rides by this point. That happened a little bit later. But they did have parks that had attractions that were rides. Hmm. And so they had these slides, especially, I think it was in France. I think they also might have had them in England, but I know for sure France had them. It was a super high wooden slide and you would ride on something and you would just go down the slide and then walk back up the stairs. Oh, like a- Go down the slide. Like at the uh, the fairs or carnivals, the potato sack, you, you go on the slide, you get, right. in, you get in the burlap sack so it's slick. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was just a little bit more formal than that. Oh. Uh, I think you were in carts. Oh, wow. Like a roller coaster. Okay. So like a mining cart. I would say that, yes. Okay. We'll put pictures of it. Yeah, we'll When you see pictures. it, you won't believe it. You'll you'll think, no way is this from the early 19th century. Hmm. But bread and circus, people wanted good food and they wanted amusement and they had both of those back then. Yeah. Yeah. They had <laughs> the, the, you know, the knife jugglers. Please don't try. Please. <laughs> I know better. These are very right. sharp. These are from a gentleman at Serenity Forge. Uh -huh. I don't believe I remember the state. I want to say South Carolina. I could be wrong, but Serenity Forge was the name of it. So very sharp. These very are nice. really good knives. They're period correct for trade knives. Mm -hmm. um, very nice. Very nice gift. Right. Um, so I definitely would not juggle those. No. <laughs> if you wish to juggle a knife, you can use one of the old dull ones, yeah, Ron. <laughs> yeah. The butter knives. The butter knives. Very, maybe the spoons. A better choice. I wouldn't even use the pewter spoons. I would go with the horn spoons. Yeah, that's just safe. Right. <laughs> I can't juggle though. I've honestly never tried. And I'm not about to try, so you guys watching don't have to think <laughs> this video is heading in that direction. We'll have to talk about games one day, maybe. 
Oh yeah, Remember, we could. Lots of games. That right? video, we have to have candy in that video yeah. because she makes game boards. Yeah. Period correct game boards. She actually makes them a hundred percent from scratch. Yeah. She paints them. She's sort of one of those people that can do something different with every single finger. So she can make anything. I mean, you name it and she can make it. She can paint, she yeah. can sculpt, she can sew. Very talented. She can carve. I mean, what in the world can she do? I honestly don't even know. But you're sort of like that too. No. Yeah, you are. No. <laughs> I think no. you are. <laughs> I think you're very talented. Well, thanks. Mm. So you want to check mm. out that Samson box? Yeah, let's check out the Samson box. You stay here. Okay. I'll go get it. Thank you. You're welcome. Maybe I'll have another orange. Sorry. What do we use this knife for? Oranges. Okay. But it's okay. Wipe I'll it. Wipe it off. There we go. And I'll use it to cut open the box. And Alfred is here. Yep, Alfred's here. Hey, bud. <laughs> he has joined us. Well, let me put him here. I'll take another think... orange. Oh, really? Yes, I think so. And how about you? Would you like one? Sure, I'd like an orange. He said yes. Even though I got a strawberry around the neck. Uh -huh. I like oranges. And his middle name is Fig. Yep, Alfred Fig Mittens. Except, Say that three times fast. Right, except Alfred Fig Mittens. He's Alfred Fig Mittens. wearing a strawberry necklace. All right. Here's the box. Ye old Samson Colonial Outfitter, 1982. Wow, that's from the future. They do have a physical <laughs> store. Yes, they do. In Indiana, in Lebanon, Indiana. Thank you. Uh, so we're, here's a knife, right? Don't cut my shirt now. Oh, don't be careful. You know I have a great track record with knives. Yeah. Every, I'm, in, I'm in the danger zone here. Everyone is terrified of me with knives, but honestly, I have let never me, cut myself with a knife. I don't know if this knife is good for this, let me, honestly. Let me, let me do it, please. It's more of a stabby. It's that you weird, made it lucky. It's that weird safety tape with the right. stuff in it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Oh, more paper for rolling cartridges. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Samson. They should just literally send us a box with nothing in it but paper. I and think that's what they did. Look at this. They got... You would be so happy. <laughs> oh, there's more than one thing in here. Oh, awesome. Wow, and more paper. <laughs> we got a lovely catalog. Oh, show. they sent us a catalog. We'll show that at the end. Yeah, because they do have a website, but they also have I'll a catalog. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just so curious. I, I really want to look through it. But, okay, I'll resist. I won't look through it yet. So, <laughs> www.samsonhistorical.com. They got everything. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you can't see it on here, but you can go online. Things you can use for camping yeah. as well as reenacting. There's clothing for men, women, children, children, cooking, Jews. reading, fun stuff, right. collectibles, drinking, toys, children's toys. Selling your own games right mm -hmm. there. They got shoes, they got hats, they got everything. So, About half of our stuff here mm -hmm. is from Samson. Right. And they've caught wind on that. So that's why they've been really good friends with us. Yeah, they've been very nice. Thank yes, you very they've much. been very nice, very generous. We're always happy to support, uh, I don't want to call them mom and pop business, but right. non franchise business. But they are a They're, family business. Yeah, they are a family business. We're, mm -hmm. we're happy to support family businesses, what I should say. Right. And they are local to people that live in Indiana. So and it's local place. made in the United States. It's, it's yeah. a U.S. business. Yeah. Everyone should support businesses within their own country. Yes. As well other businesses from other countries but priority should be Local. supporting your own community yeah. so how about you open All this right. I can tell this one here looks like a shirt oh that's very nice look at that Ooh, this is nice material it looks look how long, long that is <laughs> that will Definitely cover my butt. How about you stand up and hold it? Ah, I'll just sit down. Okay. That's how long it is. That's pretty long. That will be perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Deeply appreciate it. I'm, <laughs> we're saying thank you, but I think all of you watching are thankful as well because you don't have to see Ron's 
thighs anymore. What else did I get? Uh, I'm not sure. Whoa, look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's fancy. This is very pretty. It's a, a fichu or a ladies neck scarf. Oh, okay, so it's ladies. Nice. Oh, so they sent me something. That's nice. Thank you, Samson. Very nice. Or maybe it's just more material for you to cover up. That's what Samson's wanting you to do. Well, cover up. Let me see. What shape is this thing? Uh, it's a really long rectangle. Oh, it's a rectangle? Oh, well, this is what it is. Oh, you think that it's for men. So technically, you would wrap this around your neck twice, and then you tie it in a square knot. That's the way I was taught by my papa. So you, That's a nice item because you can use it for so many different things. Go around. A man and a woman. That, and then you come back to the front. Yeah, but... Oh, so that's you, nice. So you tie it one way, like a green mm -hmm. knot, then you tie the opposite, and that makes a square knot. That's really nice. That actually looks very dashing on you. Dashing, darling. Dashing, darling. Oh, darling. Call me Ronaldo. Ronaldo? Oh, you suddenly have become so much more handsome. How did this happen? Oh my lord. Well, yeah, that brown, like the like brown looks good on you. Especially with the, the brown lining. Right. This is nice. I, like I agree, this. that is very nice. You can wear it sometimes, but I like it. Thank you. Thank you. And it's pretty Samson. light. Yeah, it's thank you. It's very lightweight fabric too, so I think yeah. you could wear it in summer. It's very nice. I I love it. It is very nice. I thank you, it. Samson. <laughs> thank you for helping Ron to cover up. <laughs> Are you having another orange? Would you like some? Uh, a little bit. I'll take a quarter. Thank you. <laughs> Are you feeling very dopper and handsome now? Yes, I am. <laughs> Good, because you are. Thank you. So, didn't citrus prevent scurvy back then? Well, not even back then. Now. Well, now too, but I mean... <laughs> it's just vitamin C in general. <laughs> but that's... If they got scurvy, they'd try to get the people... Uh, some vitamin C to eat, so that that would really help them get over it, or not? Uh, I don't think they knew that yet. Oh, they didn't? It just coincidentally hmm. works for it? I don't even think they knew. Hmm. Well, I read in a modern book that says it does it, but maybe they didn't know that back then. Mm-hmm. Well, no one? Scurvy is still a thing is it really? in developing countries. It's very rare, though, thankfully. Mm -hmm. And it's caused by a lack of vitamin C. Because the human body cannot make its own vitamin C. So you have to take it from an external source. Hmm. Everyone laughs at my medical advice. When I was in college, I actually went to college to become a nurse, <laughs> but that didn't last long. I changed it eventually to becoming a history major, but anything medical fascinates me. Yeah, especially the old stuff mm -hmm. in history. It's really cool. It's mm -hmm. like, if I could go back in history, I feel like I could help people, and I'm not even a doctor, but just my common knowledge for right. today right. surpasses what they had back then as far as you know, that definitely doesn't work. Bloodletting, that doesn't do anything for you, but kill you faster. Right, such as eating fruit and vegetables to help with scurvy, because yeah. a lot of vegetables also have a, a high amount of vitamin C in them. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm sick, I eat strawberries, because strawberries have a lot of vitamin C. Yeah, we both got real bad sick back in January, which mm -hmm. you see in the video. He was really I sick. I was actually sick. I was in pain mm -hmm. when we were shooting that video. Yes. Laying on the floor, it was so cold. And I had been sick for three days, and I was starting to get a tiny bit better. And then we come up here and did this, and it was just... What it, do you mean? My cures didn't work? Well, eventually they did, but laying on the floor didn't help. I should have been in the bed. Eventually they work. You heard him say it from his own mouth. You're welcome, Ron. <laughs> she just wanted to shove cinnamon sticks up my nose so she could laugh. But she got sick too, so there you go. 
That's true. I also did get sick <laughs> but, after that video. <laughs> but my point there is the strawberries did help. Isn't there more vitamin C in a strawberry yes. than there is in an orange? Yes, if you're talking about the weight of the fruit, there's more vitamin C in strawberries per weight than there is in oranges. So if you ate like seven strawberries, the equivalent of an orange is Probably. Size. I don't know that off the top of my head. But I do know that strawberries per weight have more vitamin C than oranges do. That's all you need to know. Mm -hmm. So whenever I'm ill, I eat strawberries and I take a very hot bath. I sit in a tub of water so hot, you could probably boil a lobster. Wow. But I think it makes all the uh, viruses in my body realize, oh, I don't want to be here. This girl's crazy. <laughs> so they evacuate. They, they abandon ship. They jump overboard. They get out of there. It's like boiling water. Right. You boil the water and you get rid of the, the bad stuff, so you boil yourself. Right. Well, Don't try that. You know, that's why your body makes a fever when you're sick. It's because most viruses, they can't survive at a temperature above a certain temperature. So, and your body knows this. I mean, it's absolutely amazing how we're made. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. But our body knows this, so it increases your natural temperature to cook the viruses. And so I'm just helping it along. Mm -hmm. By sitting in a tub of but be careful doing soup, that. basically. <laughs> you, could, you could get yourself too hot. Well, yes. If you feel like you're lightheaded, obviously mm -hmm. do not do that. Yeah. Right. Well. Well, I think we're done for now. Yeah. Um, Until you make another delicious meal. Yes. And we do have a nice video plan for Easter. On Early American, I'm going to be dyeing Easter eggs again. I did it during the last Easter video because that's been a very long tradition is to decorate and dye Easter eggs. It's been done for many hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that again. And I'm also going to make a nice meal for us. And we're going to eat it here. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much again for watching. Yes. I look forward to your company next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I ate so many oranges, you'd think I'm a monkey. Oh, look at all the peels! I know. Look at that. How many were- there were four, I think, on the table. There were five. Oh, That's the fifth one. Whoa! Well, it's healthy for you, good job. <sighs> you won't get scared of me. <laughs> I'm so full of.